Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, your horizons were ever so narrow. You had no concept of the possibilities one could achieve if they just let go of their metaphysical self and grasp onto the imaginary, the hypothetical. I'm I'm guessing you're wondering how and to be fair I I wonder that same thing from time to time how am I how will I when have I and the answer to all these questions is <laughs> yes you can let me show you how to do this glitch this glitch uh, I need to be able to get out, uh, this is a bit awkward, can I get out here? Yeah, okay. This glitch was discovered by one Dave, David, who has uh, appeared on Pal's Play many a time and has discovered one of the best bugs ever. This rock formation is improperly modeled. As you can see here, there is a slight gap between the rock face and the start of of this uh this bluff and the underside is fully modeled which is the strangest thing to me it's almost as though they added this additional outcropping of rock last minute now i can confirm that this does work on the switch because that is where it was originally discovered uh there are very few differences between breath of the wild wii u and switch but this is not one of them now if you're wondering where exactly i am here's the star Zoom out. There's the glitch. Have fun. Take some great wacky screenshots like the one I just took where it looks like I am the size of a mountain. Or even uh, one here. I am where I'm King, Kong it, King Konging it up. I'm pulling this mountain down with my bare hands. Yeah, this is, this is an amazing glitch. And I'm glad I was able to show it off. Thanks, Dave. What just happened? What? Link just struck a pose. What was that? Hello, Mr. Guardian. You're not alive, are you? Are you cool? I think you're cool. Man, that would have been freaky if this thing came to life. So this is what it looks like up here. Not gonna lie, it's a little bit uh, blurry because the textures were not meant to be blown up this large or I guess they're meant to be viewed at, at such a distance that it doesn't matter. Huh. As for me. I quit. Oh yeah! Woohoo! It is cheap, it's convenient, and it's the best way to travel. You can't quit! I just did! Oh. Hello there! You're... you're new. You're a new Stone Palace. You're actually a new variety, I think. Oh, maybe not. I see trees of brown and skies of black. Zelda's frown at Ganon's crown. And I said to myself, uh, what a wonderful world. 
You spin me right around, baby, right around like a record, baby, right round, round, round. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Like a record, baby, right round, round, round. Well, that's quite far from Goron City to here. That's over half the map. Da 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 Over the past few episodes, we've been taking a bit of a break from the DLC, and I'm pretty glad that that break is ending now. The reason why is we have a lot of people to talk to at various towns, villages, uh, housing areas, cities, whatever you want to call them, stables, uh, and a lot of them have quests. And with me wanting to go for 100%, you'll see I'm currently at 85.9%. I have 734 Korok seeds right now. We need to get all the quests, and it would be quite the slog if we just did that after the DLC was over. I applaud your courage in coming here. The locations that will be revealed to you are of trials that will enhance the power sleeping within. Do not let your guard down. I'm sure I can handle it. It's... This is the Elden region. It's not known for its difficulty. One is on the mouth of the mountain itself. Very easy to find. The other one we can't see, and the other one we can't see. Yeah, these should also be very easy to find, because unlike Gerudo Desert, m the landmarks here are very unique. Like, there isn't- there aren't a ton of lava rivers everywhere, and they're- they all have a unique shape. This stone, the monument, has survived for 10,000 years. What does it see? What secrets does it hold? Ah. What's this? The a travel in traveler in the land of flames? Are you truly able to withstand the heat? I know it's not my business, but I'm rather concerned. Mm. It must be that you applied an ample pa amount of fireproof elixir, just as I did. Is that so? Ah, uh, no, actually. Oh. How about that? You must have the natural ability to withstand intense heat, just like the Gorons. As for me, if I do not use a fireproof elixir, I go from bard to... Thanksgiving dinner. Well, never mind my musings. Oh. Look, as expected, there's one here too. One of the monuments mentioned in my teacher's unfinished song. Ah. Oh. <sighs> I wonder if my teacher ever contemplated this very song at this very spot. The song my teacher left behind, there is a verse about the trials that the champion over Druk overcame. Allow me to sing it for you. The text advanced quickly. Crawling flame on a mighty peak, Rudania's champion never weak. The hero's power shall grow. Seek Trials Monuments Show. One, stop a titan of molten stone. Italis. Two, follow rings of light alone. Three, survive lava's fiery fate. Champion, trials await. Lava's fiery fate, huh? Is that a waterfall? I don't know. 
So did it move you? By steeping myself in the ch legends of the champions, I am beginning to form a deeper understanding of them. This will prove invaluable to writing the key verses of the song. I can imagine it vividly, the, the champion's vigilance from 10,000 years ago. My teacher always advised that to write good songs, must, one must travel the world and meet lots of people. That's why I spend my days afoot, talking to anyone who will listen. I was lucky lo enough to meet with Yonobo and Bluto at Goron City, both of whom knew much about the Goron champion. They regaled me some rather interesting oh. tales. I am certain the stories they shared will help greatly in my efforts to uh, accurately write this song's key verses. Champion Druk's song, new objective. The first, at the maw of the volcano itself. The other, neck, oh yeah, I know where this is. The great leviathan statue of Elden is pointing to it. It looks kind of creepy there on the map. I mean, it looks creepy in person, but... And the last one is near a stone palace. And that is where we will be going today. Because it is also the closest to us. That would be... There. So let's warp over to Gorko Tunnel, Greedy Hill, the Kairama Shrine. Actually, let's warp to the Bridge of Elden and then go there, go to it from there. Also, I was a bit mistaken about the amount of Korok seeds I have collected. I have 739, meaning I have 161 remaining. That is, if I can pull up a calculator here while I'm running, hopefully I can multitask. Kids, do not text and drive. It is not good for you. Uh, let's see, that would be... 739 divided by 900. I am 82% of the way done with the Gorok seeds. And that is, that's a number I never expected. That's so great. Um, I, I got 40 this, or I got 30 some this session. And if I can get 40 every session, that means by, let's see, this will take three, three or four episodes. By the end of the next session, by, or by the first couple of shrines of the uh, the trials the the final trials um, in the Lanayru region. I should be done. I'll actually be done. Oh, this this feels nice. This water looks green, but for some reason, even though it's green, it looks incredibly refreshing. I I want to bathe in that, but also it's because it's hot and I'm hot in here. <laughs> I I've never done this before, but I'm actually recording without a shirt on at the moment because. Oh, is it? Wait, oh. Hello! Well, fancy meeting you here. Korok Seed. Cool. Let's... I'm just gonna do do this, just so you guys can see. It's there. Well, neat. So, now I have 740. It's been a long time. A good long time. We're not... Be, since oh, I've gotten a Korok Seed during the actual meet of the recording. It's been a, a long time. I have 299 in my inventory. Uh... So while I'm going here, and speaking of volcanoes, this is a very, this is a weak segue, but it's the only segue I have, okay? Wait, am I going the wrong way? I'm going the wrong way, guys. Uh, give me a moment. Going the correct way this time, literally going the right way because it is east. Uh, I was talking about volcanoes and something having to do with that. In other words, Icons Combat Arena. You might have noticed that I started releasing some content of Icons. I iTunes of icons without any real fanfare about it. I just started releasing it without warning, uh, and I, I haven't, I haven't talked about this in the icons videos because for the most part, those are just highlights. The salad videos are highlights of uh, me playing the game. I put like 23, 23.3 hours into it at this point, and I'm buying it today for the the actual full price, like the founder's price of 40 bucks, but. Uh, what I was saying, uh, Icons is a new platform fighter which I've been having a blast with. I, I started playing it in the closed beta. There it is. What on earth? How are we supposed to do that? Um, 
There are a bunch of Gorons here. Hopefully they'll explain it for me. So yeah, I've been playing that. It's really great. I'll explain the backstory in a moment of that. But let me just talk to these Gorons. Gorons? Oh, is it, are these the brothers? These are the brothers. Okay, let me talk to these. Beige. I guess I'm talking to them as a group. Pump it up, brother! Oh, it's the fourth Goron Blood Brother, the one who beat both the Contest of Endurance and our Gut Jet Challenge. Do you know why Champion Daruk chose this place to train, brother? Neither do we, but us Goron Blood Brothers are going to find out uh, find out by completing the training ourselves. I'm sure this is some part of Lord Daruk's secret Goron Champ training. Intense. We're going to do all we can to be mighty Goron just like Lord Daruk. It's, only possible pa it's the only possible path for the Goron Blood Brothers. Feel the burn, brother! You see that glowing ring in the uh, in the lava? Think of it as, uh, as a target and stand on the lava, brother. So sweaty, brother. Even Gorons can't walk on lava, brother. I wonder, brother, if Lord Drukes really did this training. Not that I doubt him, brother. No wonder Lord Druk chose this spot. It's hardcore, brother. This training's gonna be rough, brother. I can almost taste the gains, brother. Time to strategize, brothers. Strategize now. So sweaty, brother. Straining on lava is impossible. No one could drain that intensely, brother. We're standing on... Uh, certainly they want me to use metal objects. They don't expect me to stand on the... Yeah, they don't intend for me to stand on the lava. That's absurd. Hmm. Well, with all the boxes around, I, I would say that's what they want us to do. Can't stand on this. Yes. So yeah, icons. Uh, as a backstory, I I have played Project M very extensively. Oh my goodness. Don't no. Can we do that? That's. Can we stand on that? Oh, we can. Wow. What do you know? We still take damage from the lava, but that works. All right. I need another box. <laughs> Yeah, I played Project M very extensively, and I was I was quite saddened when uh, Project M was shut down by Nintendo. Th that's not the official story, but that's what happened. We all know that's what happened. Uh, they got either a cease and, uh, and desist letter, or the threat of a cease and desist letter, and they had to shut Project M down. And I knew that the Project M uh, development team were working on another game, their own game this time, instead of modding. I don't want to make that jump, but I also do. It saved me a lot of hassle. Oh. 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 Oh, boy. Oh. 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 Concentration. Concentration. Yeah, so I've been waiting. Oh. That's what they want us to do. Aha! Uh -huh. Ah! Stars above. Push this back, walk forward. Push it back. Forward! Ah! Oh, am I being blocked by the box? No. And, uh, I've been waiting very diligently for them to finally release this game. This is scary. And they finally did that. Uh, Icons is a spiritual successor. I guess this is not going to work. A spiritual successor to Project M. And I've been... I've been really excited for it. I'm just going to tank this. So, uh, the, yeah, it's it's a sequel to Project M. And I, I love Project M, so I, I've been playing this a lot. It does feel very much like a, a, a Project M... Um, successor. We do it? We did it, brother! So yeah, if you want to check out this game, then I have content made of it already. Where, where is it? Where is it? <laughs> in the form of the the salad videos. I've already made two. I plan to make more. There it is. Let's talk to the Gorons. 
And currently it's free to play, although if you do free to play, it's kind of, it's very hard to get new characters. They start you off with three. They give you 1,100 uh, coinage uh, as of this patch for you to buy another character with. But honestly, it's worth it just to pay 25 bucks and buy the full game. Or 40 if you like playing it that much and you can get some um, loot boxes. Yes, it does use loot boxes and an exclusive skin and icon. Feel the burn, brother! The glowing ring is gone. Does that mean someone has completed the training? No, no, not possible. Only one who could complete that training like that is Lord Jeruk, or one of us brothers. <laughs> Pop it up, brother. What happened here? I look away for one blast a second and the glowing ring disappears. Now I, I can't try that epic training. What was me, brother? So sweaty, brother. The glowing ring is gone, but I don't have to worry about... Do, I don't have to do that crazy training. Thank goodness, brother. <laughs> Yeah, it's currently free to play. It is an absolute blast. I, I've had a lot of fun with it. Dave plays it. I play it. Ryan plays it a little bit. And I have some really high hopes for that. Renew Hanika Shrine. Block the blaze. Renew Hanika Shrine. So yeah, I'm probably going to be playing icons... Hmm. I'm probably going to be playing icons while I am that... I can stuck under it. Uh, while I am away for this next week. Uh, that's right. My uploads starting, well, starting today, technically, because this will be the last video for a little bit, for like a, a solid week, maybe week and a half. Got it. Yeah, for a solid week and a half, uh, I will not be releasing any content at all because we're probably going to need that. I will be gone. I will be gone at uh, my church's youth camp not attending it because I'm I'm a bit too old but filming it I'm being brought on to film a, a highlights video of all the events it's gonna be a blast but it also means that I'm going to be there for the entire week uh, away from all my research my recording resources I'll probably bring my my laptop so I can just play some games there uh, hmm. you know I really like employing this trick if I can do this can I, can I quick turn this enough? So ready, set. Oh, I, I totally can. No, I can't. No, I can't. I feel like I, I can do that. If I throw it up... Yeah, this'll... So. Throw it up. Oh, that works! That totally works! Yeah! I'm not sure if that's what we're supposed to do. But it works! I love thinking outside, or I guess thinking with the box. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, how are we supposed to get? I'm not sure how we're supposed to get back from here. Uh. Oh, I, oh, I can totally glide this. Okay. Yeah, I, I shouldn't worry. Stone Smasher. I guess I can take it. Now, I have been told in the comments that t not taking chest items in the DLC shrines does not count. Um towards or does not punish you uh for 100 completion it does not uh i think i might be able to cheat this one yeah if we just do it like this i should be able to run up and jump yeah that's not how you're supposed to do it but these shrines all have multiple solutions so <laughs> so shut it so shut it i did it you can't take that away from me. Open. Now that's not quite going to be it. I, I would like to end it there, but we've also done... That, that, that was very short. I would say we're probably around 17 minutes right now. I'm not sure. I did have some stuff to show off from the Korok Seed recording. So let's quickly look at our album. I'm going to save this one for last because that's right next to the Divine Beast. And... Uh, after we complete that, we can immediately just walk over the Divine Beast and do that. So we're going to find this one. This one should be... This point's there. It's right there. So if we warp over to... I guess if we warp over to the Isle of Labak and ride the cart system, that'll put us right next to Lake Darman. Let's use this cart for what it's actually intended for. I, I was just having fun and decided, you know what? Since I was only doing one shrine today, 
I might as well show off a few glitches that I've been sitting on for months now. Months and months. Uh, the, the first one being the flying machine, which was honestly a blast. If you, if you want to play around with that, please, please do. Please tell me your experiences with it, because I, what I showed was not all you can do with it. Uh, you can take it to the top of the, the map, the ceiling of the world, and right as soon as your magnesis drops out, you can, um, well, what am I saying? Right after your magnesis drops out, you can use stasis on the cart that you are standing on and use it and launch it and do it in such a way that it hits you because if it hits you, it sends you flying. And then when you bring out your sailcloth, you maintain all of the momentum from the knockback. And so you could just, you could probably cross the entirety of Hyrule, probably make a diagonal stretch because there's a gorge here and land somewhere around Gerudo Town with that, with that trick. You just have to have food that restores stamina because you can't make it across the map in a full stamina bar. Oh, hi. Do you have anything to do with this? You are near it, which means you're probably... Oh, yeah, you definitely do. Lord Rook. Hey there. We're having a sale. It's hot today. How great. I highly and where. Does this mean... Are you... Wait. Oh, here. It's like, is he really this dumb? Here? Does this mean... Are you going to visit Lord Rook's turf? That's right, I'm following the great for Druk's footsteps too. In fact, I hear Lord Druk defeated a huge monster at Lake Darmani. I wonder what the monster looked like. Probably a stone talus, I'd wager to guess. Where is the- ah, uh, it's, it's right there, isn't it? Or is it right here? Oh, it's right there! Oh, wow. What it- okay, we're gonna get a look at this, but we are not gonna fight it. Because if we fight it, oh gracious, this thing's huge. Wow. Igneo Talus Titan. This thing is absolutely ginormous. That is, that's crazy. Yeah, we're not going to be fighting it this episode. Because I'm trying to keep these episodes a little bit shorter, at least because, or for the, the simple reason of there being a lot of Korok seeds, and I don't want those to make a uh, normal length episode longer. Plus, I think you guys, in a lot of this, this endgame stuff, it, it's not as interesting in, as the main campaign. And so, uh, viewership has dropped a little bit, so I'm trying to make it a little bit easier for you guys to watch. Also, I have to edit this today because... It's out tomorrow, and then I need to pack to go on my trip. Once again, I'm going to be gone uh, all of next week, and I won't be able to record on the weekend at all, so chances are uh, the series and the channel will pick back up in, in releases sometime the week after next, and towards the end of that week. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click, uh, please, if you want to see the channel grow, click that share button. Share one of your favorite videos of mine, and honestly, go play Icons. Go play Icons, because it's a great game. I've been really enjoying it, and I, I would like to get more people on the bandwagon. It's gotten a lot of negative reviews because of uh, the the Steam early release, um, or early access with Steam. They they changed the, the uh, in-game economy, so... It was, you were pretty much locked to three characters, and it was almost impossible to earn more. But they've changed that now, and also that's not even a problem if you, uh, if you just pay 25 bucks and buy the game. So, if you go on there and see that there are a bunch of negative reviews on Steam, uh, dollars, dozens, they all have to deal with that fact, with the in-game economy. So, besides that, the game is fantastic, and... I hope to see you next time. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna die, aren't I? See you guys then!
Revali- <laughs> 